I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. Just click on the link in the description below or go to my website, AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about are they gone forever? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about that feeling of are they gone forever? Are they ever going to come back? Um, it, it is literally probably the worst feeling in the world is just sitting there obsessing over your situation and really not having any idea if they're coming back. You're starting to have all kinds of obsessive and intrusive thoughts. Your body is in physical pain. You aren't able to eat. You aren't able to sleep. You're getting ill with diarrhea. Now let me tell you something. <laughs> Your coach has been ill with the diarrhea since yesterday. <laughs> uh, is that too much information? Nah, you know what? Maybe it'll might lighten your mood a little bit, make you feel a little bit better. I think I got some food poisoning yesterday. And uh, maybe not necessarily food poisoning, but I had a Caesar salad and there was some garlic in it. And for whatever reason, it tore me up. I mean, tore me up. Like, I was dying. I was literally dying all last night, all this morning. It's been brutal. So I was sitting there thinking, this is exactly what it felt like when I was going through my breakups. I was having flashbacks. Those traumas. Oh, it's awful. So I'm right there with you today. For those of you guys that are sick to your stomach today, I'm right there with you. I hope that wasn't too much information. But you know what? I know, <clears throat> excuse me. I know you guys are going through a hard time. I know how difficult it is. I know most of you guys are probably depressed. You're anxious all the time. You're miserable. And you guys tell me all the time how much these videos help you just get through the day. So, you know what? If that makes you feel that much better, knowing that you're not alone in your suffering, so be it, okay? Uh, it's tough. I know how scared you guys are right now, right? I mean, you're absolutely terrified that they're not going to come back. You're sitting there just wondering all the time, are they going to come back? Are they not going to come back? What are my chances? I, I, a lot of you guys want me to give you chances. And I'm always honest with you guys because I know what it's like to be in your shoes. And I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I just That's not going to help you at all. I'm here to provide compassion and understanding and insight and education and support because I know what it's like when you're going through a breakup where you just just feel like you want to die and some of you guys tell me you've contemplated suicide and please please guys don't even consider that as an option for so many reasons obviously you know your ex could wind up coming back and changing their mind that is an absolute possibility Will it happen? Not necessarily. Should it happen? Maybe it's not even the right healthy relationship for you. But you are worthy. You are a human being that you are worthwhile to this planet. And there are many people that I'm sure care about you and would be devastated at losing you. I And if you think about it, what you're really feeling is that this pain and this anxiety that you're having isn't going to go away because you don't know how to soothe it. And I could tell you I understand because I know what it's like to be in that situation where you feel like it's never going to go away. It will go away in time. It will. It will get better. I promise it does get easier. It does get better over time. And, you know, one of the things that stuck with me, with one of my friends, he, he said to me this, uh, when I was going my, through my breakup, he was like, look, the problems that you're having right now, a year from now, they, they won't really bother you like they are. And it was helpful 
because it kind of put things in perspective a little bit for you. If you think about it, like, yeah, for many of you guys, you won't even really miss your ex after a year. Um, and so you have a long life ahead of you. There are a lot of amazing people out there that would love to date you. And if you really think about it, the stuff that I have teach, that am teaching you and have taught you, you know, you know that 99% of the world will never know it. You are learning skills, you are learning strategies that are going to teach you how to have healthy, amazing relationships. And you know what? If your ex doesn't come back, then chances are you're going to find somebody even emotionally healthier and have an even better relationship. And that is the truth. You know that. And that is why I'm always putting out different types of content. I don't just focus on getting an ex back because that's only a small part of everything. I'm trying to teach you about all kinds of aspects of relationships from going up to approaching to somebody new to a breakup and getting your ex back and everything in between. I'm trying to teach you how to communicate. I'm trying to learn, teach you how to learn what your partner needs and how to be able to be there for them, how to express what you need to your partner so they can give it to you and manage relationships. I mean, I'm looking at the big picture and some of you guys get frustrated or annoyed because I don't put a get your ex back up day video. Wait, did I say that right? Some of you guys get upset because I don't put a get your ex back video up every day. But I'm here to do a lot more than that. I'm here to help change your life and improve your relationships with not just your ex, but with everybody. Your kids, your parents, your friends, your family, and if you don't get back with your ex, your future partners. So, I am doing this for a reason, guys. And I know what I'm doing here. I, I'm trying to put out a broad spectrum for every, everybody to learn a little bit along the way. Because there's so much more to life than just getting an ex back. And right now, it doesn't feel like that. But this is your time for personal growth. You are going to grow tremendously during this time. I know because I did. And you will too. So, I know it's frustrating sometimes if I do a video that's a little bit different, but trust me, I have your best instincts or interest in when I put this stuff out there. You see, I'm still a little messed up from this stomach virus. Believe me, I was a mess. I was a hot mess last night and even this morning. Um, I even had one of those 6 o'clock wake-up calls like I used to. <laughs> I joke about that, and you've heard me joke about that before, and you know I had one of those today. So, but I'm still sitting here, barely. I don't know how I could sit at this point, but I'm still sitting here and putting out the content for you guys. So, I know the weekend is coming up. Some of you guys are pretty bummed out that I'm not available to put about a video on the weekend, but you know what? At this, this is my 175th video. Can you believe that? I couldn't believe that. This is my 175th video. There are 174 other videos that you can go back, start at number one, and work your way through all of them if that makes you feel a little bit better on the weekend. Okay? I have an email here that I'd like to get to with somebody who asked me, are they gone forever? Um, and she said, Dear Craig, thank you for taking the time to read my email. I have been worried about the current situation with my ex and would love your advice. If not in a video, then a direct reply to this email. My ex and I have broken up for over a month now. We tried being friends right after, but I began to notice he would treat me the same way he did when we were together, just without calling me baby or things of that nature. Okay, so that is one of the frustrating things about staying friends with an ex, is you're with them and you're dying inside for it to be more than what it really is. And I don't think it's helpful to stay in that situation, believe me.
I've been there. As you would expect, this drove me nuts and caused me to overthink a lot. Oh yeah, that over-obsessing and looking at every tiny little detail of the relationship and things that they said a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Believe me, you guys do it with me all the time. I understand because I did the same thing. I decided to try to do the no contact rule for a little bit, but then realized that even if I tried, the possibility for him to date me again was very slim because we were on again, off again for the last three months of our relationship. Well, if you believe that, you're going to cause that to happen. Why is it that it's a slim possibility? What, what makes you think that? I mean, you, you guys were having some problems, but like I said, a breakup is really a symptom of some problems going on in the relationship. But what makes you think that if we work together, or you tell me your situation, and we go over it, and we look at your weaknesses, we look at uh, what happened, that we can't make some corrective measures so you guys are healthier and happier than ever before. Because that is what I'm looking for, guys. I'm not just looking for you to get your ex back. I'm looking for you to have healthy, amazing relationships with people that you love. And maybe it will be your ex. I hope it is. For you guys that are just heartbroken and want your ex back, I hope we do get your ex back and that it makes you happy. But, um, you know, you think that it's very slim because you had problems before, but you know what? If we can look at your situation and we can look at your problems and we can make corrections and I could say to you, this is what I see is the problem. This is what I see is going wrong. You need to make these corrections. That's going to make your chances of working things out tremendously better. She said, so I broke up with him, or, I'm sorry, so I broke up and wrote him a letter explaining that I still love him. I wouldn't have done that. I gave him the ultimatum, I definitely wouldn't have done that, of making two different decisions. No, I would definitely have not done this. The first one was that if he still loves me, to give me a call and give me answers as to how he was behaving, not to reunite as a couple. So you're trying to force him. You're going to make him feel trapped. The second option was to completely cut off contact and unfriend me on all social media, delete my number, etc. You're being very dramatic. There is no reason to do this other than you are trying to soothe your own anxiety. This is not going to make you guys have a healthy, happy relationship in any way, shape, or form. You're trying to control him, to force him into getting back with you and to working it out with you. And it's not going to happen like that. When you're negative and controlling with your partner in your relationship, it's really a manipulation to force them to be a, a certain way that you want them to be. Of course, he picked the second option. I mean, there was no doubt that was going to happen. I even topped it off unconsciously when he texted me that he got the letter saying, it was nice knowing you. Hmm. I'm not sure. Of course, he picked the second. I even topped it off unconsciously when he texted me that he got the letter saying it was nice knowing you. Okay. I think I read that in a different way that she meant it at first. So, I think what she's saying is he texted her it was nice knowing you. Brutal. That is brutal. And that's what happens when you try and give somebody an ultimatum like that. I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, yep, that's exactly what happened to me. That's harsh. I mean, if somebody says that, that is harsh. She said, I'm realizing now that I'd like to be friends with him once my feelings have dissolved. Have I hurt him too much for us to be friends in the future? 
or is it still possible? I would I hope you could answer this sometime soon. Your time is greatly appreciated. Okay. Well, I I just don't believe what you're saying here about that you want to be friends with him. I I don't believe it. I think you're fooling yourself. I think that you are unconsciously trying to manipulate him again. Right? It seems to me like you are using manipulation tactics to try and get him to be the way you want him to be. So you're thinking, if we can be friends again, if I can just spend time with him and we have a good time, it'll make him want to be with me again. I think that's what you're really thinking. So, you're saying that you just want to be friends with him. Well, to be honest with you, if you did just want to be friends with him, then that really wouldn't be a problem whatsoever. But that's really not what you want. You want to be with him romantically and you have to be honest with yourself. And staying friends with him in this situation is not going to help you out. I don't think so. I think you have to leave him alone and move on with your life. And then if he starts to miss you and he starts to think about you and he realizes he cares about you, he's going to reach out because he's not going to want to lose you. I, I think that staying friends with him, you're going to have to sit there and watch him date other people. Okay? And the email heading you have is, are they gone for, or is he gone forever with a bunch of question marks? So I'm not believing that somebody that is that dramatic and that anxious over a situation is okay with the idea of being friends again. I just... Don't think you're being honest with yourself, and you need to have a hard look at yourself. Are you going to be okay with him dating other people? I don't think so. I think you're going to be heartbroken, and there's no reason to put yourself through that. In your situation, I would say leave him alone, move on with your life, see what he does with it. See if he reaches out to you. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But you giving him the ultimatum really pushed it into him making that decision. So I would never give an ultimatum like that. I think it's just over dramatic and unnecessary. Unnecessary. Boy, I can't speak today, huh? <laughs> anyway, so that is what I would do in your situation is I would leave him alone, see if he comes back. You're going to definitely need to give him some time because he's going to still be upset and angry at your ultimatum. Like he said, it was nice knowing you. Pretty rough. But if you'd like to get my help personally, go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. We can do an email coaching together or you could get to talk to me for a whole hour. Is that fun or is that torture? <laughs> Sounds... It sounds like you guys enjoy it, but no, seriously, we always do, uh, we always have a great time when we're doing the Skypes together, and so often you guys are just so, um, surprised by how much insight you gain from when we talk, but I love doing the Skypes with you guys, it's amazing getting to talk to people around the world every day, and I love it, so, reach out to me, sign up for a coaching, and if you appreciate the video, and my suffering today, Put a like on the video and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I do post videos Monday through Friday. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I will talk with you soon.